Hello again, everybody. It's me, Madame Macabre. So, just like on the last episode, I'm going to be continuing today with another story time with my tales from Disneyland. And I'm going to continue here where I left off last time. So, last time we touched on my now brother-in-law stuffing 18 rolls in his short pockets. And uh, today, we're going to be moving on to Splash Mountain, which is, there's this part of the park called Critter Country, I think. And Splash Mountain is kind of, it's based off of, I think it was that old, like, blacklisted Disney movie, like Song of the South or something that you never hear anything about anymore because it was kind of heavily, heavily racist. But all the animals and critters in it and stuff were still cute and they kept the ride, which is essentially, it's a log ride. And you're going through and there's all the singing animals and stuff. I wasn't afraid of Indiana Jones, wasn't afraid of Haunted Mansion, I wasn't afraid of Pirates of the Caribbean when I was a little girl. But that ride, Splash Mountain, scared the hell out of me. The one with all the singing animals scared the hell out of me. Why, you may ask? When you approach Splash Mountain, the first thing you see is a giant, giant thorn-covered mountain with a waterfall sticking out of it, with logs of people flying out of it, screaming at the top of their lungs, flashing lights like lightning, and then a huge splash of water and the screaming stops. To a child, you think they're dead. So, I actually was not going to ride it. Like, it took the longest time for my parents to willingly get me to ride it. The first time I rode it was because my sister actually kind of tricked me into doing it. That's what your older siblings do. So essentially, she really wanted to ride it, which I can't blame her now, because when it's hot there, you want to get on the water ride, and just the, the little sister, like, I'm scared, I don't want to ride it. Look at those people, are they dead? So she, she convinced me that no, 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 no. The, the, the splashing and the screaming and you see, that's a completely separate ride. You know what you saw on the window of the, the train? There's a train that goes around Disneyland, which you can use to get off on different stops because it's a huge park. One of the tunnels you go through actually takes you through Splash Mountain and you can see through glass a scene at the very end where everybody's singing the song zippity doo da and it's like, there's a steamboat and all the animals are dancing and it's super overly happy. And she's like, that weird thing you saw, that was the ride we're gonna ride. That thing with all the screen, that was something else, that was something else. We're gonna ride the happy ride, the happy water ride with all the little singing animals. And I was like, okay, yeah, that looked fun, if that's a different one. So I go on and I ride the ride. And for the most part, I mean, she technically didn't lie. The only lie she told was that it was a separate one. But as far as riding the happy ride, I mean, but, uh, so we go in and we ride. All the cute, happy little animals singing and dancing. It's, like, really fun and cheerful. They play music the whole time. You're going through, like, every now and then there's short little drops and you get splashed and it's great fun. You get three-fourths of the way through the ride and then you start to feel it incline. It's like click, 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 click going up. And the music shifts from happy to ominous. And then you see all the little animals start singing and crying at the same time about how... Rare Fox got Rare Rabbit and he's gonna eat him. And you see vultures ahead of you and they're talking about how you're not gonna make it. And then suddenly it lets out and you see the giant drop and the thorns and the water and all that. <laughs> Let me just tell you, I was not a happy little girl. It probably took maybe three or four more trips to the park before I would willingly ride it again. And that was because I was older and not bothered by that anymore, but oh my god, did I freak out. Which, that ride is also especially scary if you're lightweight, because uh, I got a friend who was telling me that uh, when, they, when they were little, they were tall enough, but light enough to ride it, and they almost flew out, and I can understand how that would be even more terrifying. Wink, you know who you are. <laughs> All right, and the next story I'm gonna move into, I got a little list to remind me of all the different things because I was sitting down trying to think, organize my thoughts or I would go on forever with this video. The next one that I can remember was in Toontown. It's pretty fun, everything's all like old Disney cartoon related and Acme and all that fun stuff. I remember we were in Toontown, I think we were riding like Roger Rabbit's Wild Ride. It's 
it's fun. It's kind of based off that Who Framed Roger Rabbit thing. But we're there, and I remember seeing Goofy, the one of the mascots, walking by. And at this point in time, my little brother and my sister's boyfriend at the time were like, Ah, oh, Goofy! They ran up to him, and they wanted to get a picture with him. But he just, like, shrugged them off and, like, power walked away. So I just... I turn and I see my current brother-in-law, my sister's boyfriend, running after Goofy, and Goofy's just running away from him, avoiding him, and then he, he comes back all like, Goofy ignored me! I don't think the mascots are supposed to do that, honestly. He, so he must have been having a really bad day and didn't want to put up with some, some teenage guys chasing after him. Oh, but that, that was definitely interesting. One more story that I can recall is uh, one of the other areas is Tomorrowland. And they've got all the, the futuristic stuff. I know they're like making the new Disney movie and all that, but Tomorrowland for the longest time has been the, the part, the futuristic part of Disneyland with all their space related rides, their Star Wars stuff, everything like that. And Space Mountain has long been one of my favorite rides there. It's one of the roller coasters in the park. And it's so cool because it feels, the whole line, you've got all this. Star Wars, robotic, all this kind of stuff while you're waiting in line. And when you get on the actual coaster, it's like you're in a rocket ship that goes up and is in a launch pad. And then when you're on the ride, it shoots you out into what feels like space, because it's, it's pitch dark. And there's like comets flying around planets, and it's like totally immersive. Super fun. Well, my family, since we've gone so many times, we know exactly where the camera is on this ride. It's one that takes your pictures, and at the end of it, it puts them all up on the monitors. So, because we were a big group, this is again, this last trip is where a lot of shenanigans happened. But we got our whole group onto, we, we couldn't fit into one car, so it was filling one car, and then two of us in one with other people. I, I don't remember exactly how it was, I'd have to look at the picture again. But needless to say, we were sharing a photo zone with some other people we didn't know. And since we know where the cameras are, we always make the most ridiculous, ugly, hilarious faces we can when we're getting up to the point with the camera. And when you're sharing a car with somebody else, that, that turns into an interesting experience. We, we get queued up, we go through the ride, we're like, okay, picture time, and we're all making our ridiculous, ugly faces. And then we rush out to go to go see them on the monitor wall and laugh at them. But uh, the the couple that was riding behind us, that wasn't with our group, actually got there ahead of us. And when we're walking up to it, we see a small group of people huddled around the monitors, just like cackling. And then we're like, "Oh boy!" We go up there, and sure enough, they're all just pointing and laughing at the picture because you've got the, the couple that are just like, ah, do the regular roller coaster stuff, and then there's us like contorting our faces and making these ridiculous faces, and they laugh. The couple bought the photo, so that's that's our legacy with that right there. Oh man, memories. The the last thing that immediately comes to mind is in relation to they've got this water and laser light show called Phantasmic that they do with the characters and fireworks and all that stuff. And I remember, this one actually wasn't on the last trip. This one was a couple trips back where I was still a bit younger, where you kind of lay out on the pavement around the water area where it's gonna happen. And they, they start up the show and everything. And I, I don't have the strongest memories of everything that happened in between, but I remember, that's one of the memories I have of the hardest we've ever made my dad laugh. I mean, he was actually hunched over and sobbing, like tears on his face, he was laughing so hard. Because we had just made the transition from being little children who were impressed by everything to like, teenagers and teenagers who were unimpressed by everything. And there was this one part in the show where these actors wearing these like big white discs and then there's like a snake. There's a head of the snake and a tail of the snake and all these little white disc costume peoples that go in between and make it look like the pythons moving around and they'd break off and dance and stuff. But we kept insisting that they were dancing potato chips. 
and that we just it's not so funny now but for whatever reason being sleep deprived and on our feet all day that was the most hilarious thing to us and we kept laughing 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 especially because they they looked kind of flammable and then mickey comes out and like shoots fire from his gloves and we're like <laughs> oh boy like, everybody's cheering when Mickey starts, and then we just turn to my dad and we're just like, what if his hand's caught on fire? And everybody's screaming, you're on fire, you're on fire! And he's like, oh, thank you, thank you! And just engulfs in flames. And then Donald runs up and punches him into the water, and then the, the potato chips all catch on fire, and we're just sitting here just cackling over the stuff. And it's not that funny now, but just in the time, we were laughing so hard. And then they've got this big steamboat that goes through at the end. And then my dad's like, I bet you they're dragging the net afterwards trying to fish Mickey out. And they're like, oh, it's just Donald. And they throw him back in. <sighs> and we were laughing from that point all the way into the ride. We finished the show and went to the ride afterward. And uh, he, w he was still laughing. He was sobbing at that point. And God, I, I just have so many pleasant memories of that park. And just little things that aren't necessarily the most funny now. But they're, they're just fun little stories, and I really, really hope I'm able to go again soon, because it's killing me. If I am able to go again sometime, I will most certainly be vlogging it and sharing those new experiences with you. If you guys have been to Disneyland before, then I'm sure you can appreciate everything I've told you, and hopefully have relived some of your own funny memories, which if you've got a funny story or something that's happened when you were in the park, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'd love to read it. I just, I love this stuff so much and it's helping me cope with how much I miss it. And if you haven't yet had a chance to go, I wish you nothing but luck in your ability to one day in the future go. And I love you all equally, whether you're a Disney kid or not. <laughs> So that is all for now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little story break. I will catch you all later. That's all for now. Bye-bye.